This morning I've woken up in Bamberg, Germany. It's the thing I love about cruising with Viking, the chance to just literally cruise into a beautiful town, get off the ship and explore. And to do that, I'm taking the walking tour. It's a great way to learn more about the places you visit. I love exploring the towns this way and Viking offers these included excursions in every port the ship stops at. Welcome to Bamberg, everybody. Bamberg's history, you could say, goes back to around 1007, uh, when Heinrich II um, created the Diocese of Bamberg here and um, built the Cathedral of Bamberg. So from the Rose Garden here, we have a lovely view out over the center of the historic uh, part of Bamberg, uh, with many of these 2,000 historical buildings that we have in the center of Bamberg. If you look more closely at the roofs here, you can see lots of tiny, uh, even sagging roofs uh, showing the age and also the medieval structure of the city. It's been a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Area since 1993. It's one of the bigger ones in Germany. So if you look over, almost all of this is original and was not damaged in World War II, and that's a huge contrast to almost all other historic cities in Germany. That magnificent church, the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. George with its four spires just stands out as a magnificent piece of architecture. Within it, Pope Clement II is buried, the only Pope buried here in Germany. And as you walk around the streets, make sure you've got your camera out, there are over 1,200 monuments and statues to be found. It's a steady paced walk through Bamberg's old town on the cobblestone streets, it's wonderful, really. There's a certain romance to exploring beautiful old cities like this by foot. All around you, you'll find crooked and high-timbered buildings, and some of this has to do with the construction standards back when they were first built. The foundations have also moved, and so have the buildings. This is the place to have your camera ready all the time. The architecture really is beautiful. So we're standing here in front of the old town hall of Bamberg. Uh, here in the middle of the Regnitz River. It's one of the only town halls anywhere in the world in the middle of the river. So these frescoes were painted in the 1750s. Uh, like I said, when the medieval town hall was updated in the Baroque style, they didn't have the money to completely rebuild it. So they just uh, kind of did a facelift. Some people like to say it was going uh, Baroque without going broke. After the tour, we've time to go and explore the attractions that we want to see. That's the great thing about this tour's flexibility. But do you know what I'm going to do? Well, Jaden showed me the best place to taste smoked flavoured beer, which is a must-have experience whilst in Bamberg. If smoked beer's not your thing, well, don't worry. Bamberg has 11 different breweries in the Old Town, another 60 in the greater region, delivering over 400 different types of beer. So there's gotta be a beer for you. Maybe this isn't the one for me. 